It was my birthday last week on the 20th, and nobody came to my birthday party. I was just sitting there alone with my delicious ice cream cake and my birthday hat. Oh, it was your birthday? How old did you turn? 207 years old? No, I turned 81, you blob. 81? Damn, you're old. I'm so jealous of Barry, since he's going to be 80 years old in like 20 years, whereas Donald and I are going to be 80 in three years. Oh, don't talk about it, Towers. I sure as hell don't look 80 like you and Sleepy Joe. <laughs> How come you guys never said happy birthday to me or showed up at my birthday party? I thought you guys were my best friends. Not gonna lie, Joey, I kind of forgot it was your birthday. Sorry, man. Uh, I hate to be that guy, but yeah, I forgot your birthday's on November 20th. Oh, come on. At least I remember your guys' birthday. Do I look like a calendar? You really think I'm gonna have that fossil's birthday memorized? There's more important days than your birthday. What? Hey, screw you, Donald, stupid bitch! Whoa, don't be hostile there, partner. We're sorry for forgetting your birthday, Joey. We'll try our best to remember next year. There won't be a next year since the Grim Reaper is practically at his doorstep. No! Now that's pretty messed up, but true. This may be Joey's last birthday before he expires for all we know, and we just missed the opportunity to say happy birthday one last final time. Oh, stop it! I at least have like 10 good years left in me. Pfft, 10 good years? Really now? Yeah, right. You're gonna spend the next five years in a retirement home since you won't be able to function properly, then your last five years in a psych ward since your dementia would consume your entire brain by then and you won't know what planet you're on. At least that's better than overeating myself with 10,000 Big Macs, you fatty. 10,000? Now you're pushing it, you brain-dead plastic bag. Zip it before I send an acid strike to your house. Calm down, why don't you boys? Let's just all wish Joey a happy birthday and get started with our tier list. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Hey, sing happy birthday to Grandpa Joey. Don't make it weird, bro, but happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Joey. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Hey, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Oh my gosh, that was the best birthday gift ever. Uh, thank you so, so much, guys. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, shut up. Don't cry, old man Jenkins. We still hate you. Speaking of gifts, I think we'll all get you a gift next month instead, since Christmas is soon. Oh, yeah, you're right. If anything, Joey, just wait till Christmas for your birthday and Christmas presents. Yes, free stuff. Let's go. Me giving out gifts? Who do I look like? Santa Claus or something? I'm not giving out gifts to anyone, especially Joseph. You sure as hell are fat like Santa Claus. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. He's not wrong, but are y'all ready to start up this Oreo tier list? Oh yes, this is going to be part two of ranking Oreo flavors. So if you missed part one, it'll be in the description. When are we gonna make a Girl Scout cookie tier list? Those are the best cookies ever. Oh, shut up. We all know why you love Girl Scout cookies. You sicko! And that's why Joey is not, and I repeat, not invited to my highly anticipated annual Christmas party this year. I despise you both. I'll just throw my own Christmas party. Yeah, no one will come to your Christmas party just like your birthday party. Ha ha. Loser! Oh, yeah? And nobody will come to your funeral. How about them apples? Now that's just messed up, Joey. But can we do a Keebler cookie tier list soon? We'll make more cookie tier lists later, guys. For now, let's just focus on ranking these Oreos first, but definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those future cookie tier lists. Let's start off with some holiday-themed Oreos first, since Christmas is around the corner. Hot cocoa Oreos, this can't be good. Honestly, these aren't too bad. I've had them only once before, and it tasted exactly like hot chocolate, which is crazy. Yeah, some artificial tasting hot chocolate, bro. This cookie can't be good. Everything is artificial nowadays, so who cares? These Oreos are what you get and are tremendous when you dip them in milk. I guess I have to try this Oreo then. Commander and I do love drinking hot cocoa, so maybe he'll like this. Bro, what? You feed your dog Commander chocolate cookies and hot chocolate? Uh, yeah. What's the problem? You're actually stupid, Joey. Dogs are not supposed to have chocolate. Oh, really? No wonder why your dumb dog kept biting all your secret service men. He was probably going crazy because of the chocolate. Commander isn't dumb like you. Shut up and don't tell me how to take care of my fucking dog! Nigga, you can't even take care of yourself, so how are you gonna take care of a damn dog? Use your freaking brain! Stop screaming into my sensitive Biden ears. I'm not listening to what you're saying. Blah, 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 Jesus blah, blah. Jesus Christ, you're a handful, Joey. I don't know how Jill deals with you, so suit yourself. Anyways, I'm putting these Oreos into the goaded tier. Jill definitely pretends to love Joseph, but peppermint bark Oreos are next up. And I thought these would taste like toothpaste, but it has a pretty balanced, minty flavor. Jill does not pretend to love me. That's Melania to you. And for your information, Jill actually knows how much I love toothpaste. 
So she buys me those toothpaste flavored Oreos so I don't have to brush my teeth. What the hell is up with Joey today? Toothpaste Oreos don't exist, you idiot, and that would make your teeth dirty, not clean. Toothpaste Oreos actually do exist and they're called mint Oreos. Mint Oreos aren't that bad, come on. Peppermint bark is far superior in every way because these Oreos have little pieces of peppermint bark in the cream. Oh yeah, you're right. I feel like that just bumps this cookie up a tier for that alone. These are going into the God tier, unlike the next pack of Oreos. Wait a second, they have gingerbread Oreos? Since when? These cookies are a disaster. Who the hell wants to eat Oreos for them to taste like disgusting gingerbread cookies? No way you don't like gingerbread cookies. Are you crazy? No, I'm not Joseph. Yeah, yeah, lard man. Gingerbread cookies are hit or miss for me, but I think Donnie has a point. When I'm eating Oreos, I'm expecting that iconic cocoa chocolate Oreo taste, and these really don't have it. But just look at them. These cookies look so darn cool with the design. Ah, uh, I didn't even notice that. Is that the gingerbread man from Shrek on the Oreo? No, you dipwad. It's just a generic looking gingerbread man. I personally think these cookies should go into the good tier just because of how sick the idea is. I guess I'll let it slide this one time, but yeah, I'll give it some credit for being a really neat idea. Just imagine what a gingerbread house would look like made out of these Oreos. Okay, I admit that does look pretty cool, but still doesn't change the fact of it being gingerbread. Enrobed Oreos are next. And what the hell does that even mean? It means you have dementia. It probably means you're gay. I'm not Obama. Enrobed means you wrap or coat something, so in this case, you're enrobing the Oreo with chocolate fudge. Now that does sound delicious, but white fudge covered Oreos are better, and that's a fact. Anything chocolate covered is bussin', especially when you're faded off your rockers. Stupid pothead. These Oreos sure as hell look tasty, but I think if I take one bite of these, I'd end up in a sugar coma. I I know what I'm getting you for Christmas then. These Oreos are goaded 100%. And next up, we got candy cane flavored Oreos. Candy cane Oreos? Are you insane? Just looking at these, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, come on, really? These look delicious. Just imagine how minty fresh your breath would be after eating these. I don't know, man. I like candy canes, but it just looks like it'll taste way too much like candy cane and too much of anything ain't a good thing. Yeah, Donnie, you hear that? Too much McDonald's is not a good thing for your fat ass. You shouldn't be talking when we all know you and Hunter do too much of that white snow in the Oval Office. At least that's better than eating McDonald's flavored Oreos, you fat chunk of lard. You're tripping balls, bro. No way. That flavor is real. You shut up. McDonald's Oreos are fantastic and just as good as my tremendous Big Mac. You gotta be joking. No, I'm not joking. Have you guys not tried McDonald's cheeseburger Oreos with a side of cherry cola Oreos? Now that's just sad, man. You are one sad, sad human being. Yeah, right. Why don't you go eat some Tide Pod Oreos so we don't got to deal with a zombie in our Discord every day? Why don't you go on a diet and eat real food like a real man? Oh, wait, you aren't a real man, and you don't know what real food is. All right, boys, just shut up. Fight later, since we still have a lot of Oreos to rank. Oh, man, that fight was getting good. I was just about to take out and eat my buttered popcorn Oreos. What? What, what the hell, Towers? Oh, come on. You all can't say anything when you guys were talking about cheeseburger and Tide Pod Oreos, so I don't want to hear it. I forgot what Oreos we were even talking about. Candy cane Oreos, you dummy. Oh yeah, those are mid as hell. Mid unlike our emotes and badges you get for becoming our channel member. Oh yeah, just look at me on that $2 bill. I'm one handsome Biden. You guys can get these money badges next to your name in the comments along with watching our videos first and early by becoming our channel member. We'll also shout you out at the end of every video if you become a member. So if that all sounds good, consider joining in the description. Now we're talking with these Reese's peanut butter cup Oreos. I'm willing to eat a whole pack of these and risk it all. I don't blame you, Joey. Even though our sugar levels will go off the charts, it will be damn worth it. Yeah, I'm texting Melania to give me 10 packs of these ASAP. These are going straight into the God tier without a doubt. Oh, look, Donnie, it's the perfect Oreo just for you to lose some of that blubber. Thin Oreos. Now whose terrible idea was this? Of course you'd hate on these Oreos. They aren't even that bad, partner. They may be really small compared to the normal Oreo but not gonna lie, they are pretty darn good. Wrong! The smaller portion, the worse. These are a disgrace to America's best cookie and deserve to be in the trash can along with Joe's presidency. America's best cookie? Yeah, I don't know about that one. And you're just jealous I'm president unlike you. You being America's president? Yeah, I don't know about that one either. Shut up, Donald. This time you are wrong about these thin Oreos since they're pretty good. Oh no, is this next Oreo an ice, ice cream Oreo? Oh my God, no way, is this real? Unfortunately, this abomination is real and is the epitome of how sad and unhealthy America is. Just look at Donald Trump. That Humpty Dumpty looking ass Muppet needs to hop on a treadmill ASAP. Oh, not this Brit back in my VC again. Get the hell out of here, you filthy animal. Filthy? 
You're really calling me filthy? Let me grab a mirror for you and show you what filthy is made. Chef, chef, hey man, I used your turkey recipe on Thanksgiving. Yeah, mate. It tasted amazing. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey. Oh, why, thank you, Towers. Are you really going to talk down on my Neapolitan ice cream Oreos, chef? They are the best tasting Oreos ever. Best tasting Oreo? Are you mad? Because anyone with a functioning and working capable brain wouldn't be that mentally challenged to form that bonkers opinion. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, these Oreos actually aren't that bad. Sure as hell doesn't taste like an Oreo, but if you just imagine that it's ice cream, it's pretty good. Good my ass. The pitiful taste and texture alone is a disgrace to sweets and food of any kind. Why don't you shut up? Food is food no matter what kind of food it is. No surprise coming from this marshmallow built twat, eh? You must think these lemon Oreos Oreos are good too, huh mate? Actually, no, lemon Oreos are horrific and should be deleted from existence. Are you serious? Lemon Oreos don't even taste that bad. It surprised me with the taste and reminds me of those lemon squares that Laura bakes for me. You seriously comparing artificially flavored lemon Oreos made from a lab to freshly baked delicious lemon squares made in the kitchen? What kind of unintelligent knobhead are you towers? Hey, frick off chef. Let me enjoy my artificial lemon Oreos. I don't mind these Oreos either, George, but when it comes down to Oreos, nobody's first choice is ever going to be these lemon ones. Plus, these Oreos are way too sour for me. Eating a couple of these Oreos gave me extra wrinkles on my face and butt. We didn't need to know that, Joseph, but these Oreos are going into the mid-tier since the only good part about this Oreo is the cookie itself, since it's the golden Oreo, but with lemon filling. Ooh, gluten-free mint Oreos are next. And these are so good and better than regular Oreos. The fuck? Did I just hear that demented tosser correctly? Gluten-free, mint Oreos being good. Take your meds, you geezer. I actually did take my meds, so joke's on you. Gluten-free is the way to go. Clearly your meds aren't working then, huh, mate? Better checking yourself into a mental institution since you're mental. You have to be joking, Joey. Do you seriously like these Oreos? Yeah, they're better than the classic Oreos. Flipping mental. Yeah, bro. That has to be the worst take I've ever heard from you on the channel, and you've had so many bad takes. I need to find whoever is behind this bag of Oreos and slap them upside their head with my wooden spoon. Yeah, these are god-awful, just like the next pack of Oreos. What is this? Why the bloody hell do you Americans make the most fattening food combinations ever? It's like you all don't have a sense of care for each other's well-being. Oh, shut your tea-drinking crumpet ass up. You don't know real food when you see it. We Americans have the true best food in the entire nation. Oh, no. You're about to get cooked by the chef. Did you really just say I don't know real food? Pretty ironic for someone who only eats ice cream, huh? Do you know who you're talking to, mate? I'm the most renowned and best chef in the world, and you're going to be disrespectful to me, are ya? Why don't you do America a favor and go to sleep forever? Ooh, sleeping forever? That sounds like fun. And ice cream is the best breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so shut up, chef. You idiot, that means you'd be dead. Oh. All right, back to these Oreos. I think this is a good flavor on paper, but when you actually taste it, something is just off about it. Yeah, I can see that. I don't think the PB&J works for Oreos, but it's pretty dope, though. These are going into the mid-tier, but what about these caramel coconut Oreos? An Oreo tasting like caramel coconut cake? Just go eat a real slice of my wonderful caramel coconut cake instead of this rubbish. Ooh, I'd love to try a piece of your cake, chef. Now, that just sounds wrong, but I'm sure Obama would love a piece of Gordon's cake, huh? Shut your mouth, Donnie. Who wouldn't want to try some of Gordon Ramsay's cake? Not me. Commander and I are just going to stick with these Oreos instead since they taste better. Oh, you're really tugging on my ass hairs, aren't you, mate? I bet instead of choosing actual pizza to eat, you'd go for pizza-flavored Oreos, you nutter. Well, obviously, who wouldn't want pizza Oreos and, oh, even those crab cake Oreos are bussin'? What the fuck? You've got to be high, Sleepy Joe. What's wrong with your taste buds? Actually, I'm the high one right now, and even being faded, that crap don't sound good at all. But caramel coconut Oreos are pretty solid, I'd say. So I'm going to put them into the good tier. Now, what in the Queen's name is a Brookie-O? Is this some sort of messed up concoction you Americans made in a lab again? Yes, it is, but it was made with love and care in a lab for that beautiful brownie and cookie dough taste. Oh, these Oreos. They have three layers of sweet cream. Uh, it has a brownie-flavored cream, the original cream and a cookie dough cream which sounds like a little too much for my liking so this is supposed to be a brownie chocolate chip oreo yeah it seems like it now get this frankenstein built cookie out of my face i can easily bake better brownies and chocolate chip cookies than what this sad excuse of a cookie is yeah yeah we get it you can cook i don't care about your opinion since these are going straight into the goaded tier you best not say that about these cotton candy oreos because this has to possibly be the worst idea for a cookie ever i'm staying away from american food oh yeah these have a weird smell to them like just by smelling them you can tell they were made in bill nye the science guy's lab okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open it Oh. <laughs> I personally like cotton candy, 
And I don't mind cotton candy ice cream, surprisingly enough, but this just does not work in Oreo form. Cotton candy Oreo. No more taste, huh? Oh, uh, I mean, okay, here's the thing. They taste pretty good. It tastes fine. It don't even taste like cotton candy. It's okay. No, it's still not okay. Cotton candy Oreos taste like unicorns, rainbows, and sparkles, just like cotton candy ice cream. Combine them both, and you have the best. Shut up. Just go eat real cotton candy, you fossil. Exactly my thoughts. You'd have to be a madman to like these awful tasting cookies. Now, last but not least, carrot cake Oreos are the final Oreo to rank. Thoughts on these? Carrot cake is delightful to eat after a nice dinner, but Oreo is here back at it again to ruin a classic dessert. Oh, come on, chef. Just let this Oreo slide. The cookie itself is carrot cake flavored, and the cream is cream cheese flavored from a carrot cake. But the thing is, just like carrot cake, this Oreo has actual carrot pieces in it, which is disgusting. Bro, it does not have pieces of carrot in the cookie. Nowhere on the package it says that. If it did, then yeah, this would be the worst cookie ever. Ain't nobody wants to eat or taste a vegetable while devouring a slice of cake or a pack of cookies. These carrot cake Oreos are fake news. Yeah, why don't you Muppets stop making excuses for this wonky tasting Oreo? No, this is the only excuse that's going to pass in my book. This Oreo is going into the good tier since it tastes exactly like carrot cake. Well, that's the whole Oreo tier list. And let us know which cookie tier list we should do next. You know what time it is, you wankers? It's member shout out time. Shout out to your average Dragon Ball Z fan, Camden, Thomas Hilberg, Caleb Halliday, Peanuts fan 1000, Albert Muher, Melanie Elrod, Captain Skull 866, Lee Birch, Hamster World, some random guy, Maximilian Plays, Kyle Warwick Matthew, Mikoto 13, Jolteon 1864, Joe's Reincarnation, Aero 73, Sadex ZZ, Mr. Fatty Tyrone, Gage Corduck, Ponce Oomj, Arapentidos, Yai Convertidos, Zarka, Trump. 2024, Droids 115, Epic Blabeat, Hunter Thompson, Manchel, Obama Rama, Jaguar Stonepaw, The Mo Mechanic, Joshua O'Malley, and Ether for being our brilliant channel members. More shout outs to Anthony VAVR, Nikolai FR, Money Dynamic Matanya, Otto von Bismarck, Star Brother, Bradley Bowden Socks, Connor the Gamer, A Normal Green Slime, Archangel 98, Bloody Red, Gaming Dragon, Quickscope Cooper, Prince Glenmore and Infinite, Animations Guy, Winter, SRF, Nostalgia Network, Bunny Garden, Smelly Boomer, Brandon Ayala, Amper Sandler, Lof Mohizamaz, and Omnilude for being the greatest channel members. Even more shout outs to Gabe Dudas 2, Alpha Diamond, Joe V, 1998, Ballsack, Dominic Camise, Jibaro 19, President's Discord Chat, V Ricochet, The Warpath, Deontay McGee, Mevins 2001, Mark, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arnis, Finn Akers for supporting the President's Discord server. And finally, shout outs to the Gilder 7111, Media Fan 50, Defender of Communism, Adamantium Asari, Spectre, and finally, Alex Ovando. Have a tremendous day.